Hello and welcome to this week's video. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use a macro to reference or read in a file name with a date in it. And the reason you'd want to do that is, is so that you don't have to change the code every month. What I've seen in many contracts I've, I've been to is there's a program and there's a statement such as file name statement which references a file with a date in it and each month the user before the user submits a program they have to change this date to correspond with the file for example that I have here on the left hand side and so they'll have to change to in order to reference the June file here they're gonna have to change this date to 6. Next month they're going to have to change the date to 7 and so on and so on. Now it would be much better if we could just submit the program as is and not change the code at all and just let SAS calculate the date. So that's what I'm going to show you and I'm also going to show you uh, how to do that using a macro. Now I've got the code right here and there's a lot of code here but basically this section I've actually talked about in a previous video how to calculate a month end date in SAS so I won't get into that but basically this is a section that calculates the the month end date and this line here is the new code that wasn't in that video and basically it takes that calculated date which, is, which I happen to call date 1 and it puts it into a macro variable which I've called date ref under, date underscore ref and we're going to use this macro variable to replace the original code the original file name statement which is right here and we're going to replace it just the date section which is right here because we're going to use this macro variable which will have the correct date each time you submit the program so let's assume today is July some, t some date in July so I happen to pick the 10th of July this way it's going to read in the June file like we're, we're assuming that uh, depending on the date the the program will read in the previous month's file so if it's July it's going to read in June if it's if it's uh, August it's going to read in July and, and so on so in in this instance it's supposed to read in the June file so let's take a look at the June file first before we submit the code you can see there's this is supposed to be a card number a credit card number and this is a balance and we can see there's two cards they end in 212 and 435 and there's 100 and 200 dollars in them as a balance so when we run the code we should be able to see that it's read the correct file properly which is the June file so let's run the code and take a look okay so as you can see it read in a different file and that's because uh, I ran the wrong code okay so we need to run uh, the the automated uh, section so let's uh, run that again and there's basically two data sets stored here the the data that we want to see is actually in test okay and as you can see it's got the card numbers 212 and 435 and 100 and 200 dollars which matches the June file right here 
So it calculated the date properly and, and read in the correct file. If we assume that today is August, then it should read in the July file. And we'll take a look at July. July has balances of $400 and $500 and different card numbers. These are fake card numbers. I completely made them up. And let's run the code. And as you can see, uh, not yet, we just got to open up the correct data. And, and as you can see, it's got $400 and $500, which matches the July file. Now, I only use specific dates as an example to show you at the, that it's reading in the correct file as we change dates. But normally in production you would want to have this calculate the date automatically and you could use the today function so it will actually just grab today's date and today's date at least when this video is, has, was created it's it's actually September 7th 2015 right now and because of that it should read in the August file which is right here so let's let's run this code and just take a look uh, let's open up the August file it's got fourteen hundred dollars and twenty five hundred so we should expect to see that open up the correct data set and there you have it, 1400 and 2500. So that's how you do it. In order to reference a file with a date in the file name and not have to change the code every month. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my to my channel and you can like the video as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.